rules. You know. Jonas, where did you... Is leave possible. Sure. Uh, is anyone up there? What the hell is... Bury me where you can't see what. Yeah, I can hear you all right. Um, over. Awesome. Leslie probably told you, we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Electrogravity, ion winds, you know, stuff like that. Now, over the last few months, Kamina's been overrun with disruptions in the electromagnetic spectrum. Hey, I thought they closed down the seafood place out here. Oh, uh, Seafood Sammy's. Yeah, that's... I think it's under health code probation or something. So anyways, the group I work for seeks out explanations for certain natural phenomena. And inexplicable signals have been disrupting radio and comm frequencies in Kamina for months. Your transmitters will relay these signals back to us for processing. Understand? Over. Okay. 
Uh, right, that, uh, makes sense, I think. I think I remember doing something like this in a high school science class. Yeah, it's a little weird, right? Hopefully this sort of thing is interesting to you. Your transmitters and climbing gear, for the rocky terrain, are being held with the very polite manager of the general store. Should be right in the center of the harbor. Go get them and then call me back, okay? Oh, and before I forget, uh, you have a walkie-talkie. You'll be using it to keep in contact with me and anyone else you need to chat with. Uh, do you need me to go over the basics of how to use it? Like how to use it, generally? Uh, no, that's all right. I think I got the hang of it. Over. All right, great. Okay, I think we've covered everything. Well, nice to meet you, Riley, even if not in person yet. Let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay, over and out. Do sorry, but if I finish up early, can I cash in my lunch for a boat ride? I'm standing at the kiosk. The, uh, the Edwards Island one? I've never done the tour, but always wanted to. Well, nice to meet you. Over and out. Let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay. Huh, doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, I should probably call Evelyn and let her know. What is this? A flyer? Learn about our free soul body health class. Luna has the power to heal. Join parentage. Keep to the stars, blood, moon, tide. Huh. Closed. Back Wednesday. Are you kidding? Hey, Evelyn. Is there like another general store nearby? Because there's nobody here, so I don't know what to do. Over? Ah, oh, crud. Okay. You must have closed early. This isn't a deal breaker, though. Just head up the hill on your way to Camber Cave. Your partner, Jacob Summers, is having some car trouble, but he's got a transmitter you both can use for tonight. Over. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but partner? If I'd known I was working with somebody, I uh, might have remembered to put on deodorant. Oh, it's fine. He's another contractor, Jacob Summers. We like to use a buddy system when people are in the field. You never know what could happen. People slip or get... There's a posting on the bulletin board for an entry-level researcher. Is that you guys? Oh, uh, yeah, that's... They should pull those down now. Okay, Riley, pull out your map and I can explain how to use it. So, as you can see, there's a lot of land to cover, and a lot of it is inaccessible unless you have climbing gear. All those rocks and cliffs and crap are too dangerous without rope and anchors. But Jacob's still at Copper Creek Trail, northwest of where you're at right now. Take the road, and you'll get there pretty quick. Also, by the way, your map has a lot of useful information. Don't be afraid to whip it out if you ever get lost or forget what you're doing. Okay, I'll call you later when you're with Jacob. Thanks, Riley. Over and out. <laughs>